Uh, Leo, good morning. I uh, hope all is good with you. Uh, in terms of your team selection, and this is obviously the environment a bit, uh, Scott Curry for Ryan Baird, just for thinking of that in terms of the game, and indeed what sort of a week it's been given the fact you didn't have a match last week. Um, yeah, well, it, it was unusual the way last week played out in the end. Um, I heard, um, obviously, we, we, we had a meeting on the Friday morning um, about the too long game, uh, clearly. And um, yeah, it was, it was difficult. Uh, you know, you could feel for too long. But anyway, those decisions were made um, very much out of our control. So um, for our guys, yeah, they came in that afternoon, uh, just lifted. And it was more just about informing them, really, as to what has gone on so anyway we just move on to the next thing so uh, we've had a decent week this week in terms of prepping and getting ready for Exeter um, we know it's going to be a huge challenge but um, but this is what it's all about really isn't it like you get to this stage of the tournament playing against the best teams in Europe um, Exeter being the champions of Europe currently so um, yeah we, we know it's a massive test for us but um, as I said this is what you want to be involved in these big days um, against the best in Europe so um you know, we, we watched uh, we we got to watch a lot of the other games over the course of the weekend not, not obviously have to play with one ourselves um and um, yeah like you could see some great contests over the course of the weekend so um yeah no we're we're, we're excited to get going at this point uh, how much of a difference or what sort of difference have you noticed in extra since they won the championship um in england last year and indeed the uh, the champions cup have you noticed them as a team or how they developed in that, in that period of time as champions? Um, they definitely have like a much more of a confidence about what they do now so um, very systematic I think in their approach how they play the game and um, you could see at the weekend you know even after they go behind against Leon early um, like there's no sense of panic at all from them so you know, once they gain access into the 22 it's been well talked about how efficient they are there um, and how many tries come from that pick and go game um, so they're very, very efficient, very, very systematic what they do. I think lots of teams know what's coming, but it's can you actually disrupt that system that they have? Uh, but it's something that's been built over a long period of time. Um, you know, even f for me personally, when I was involved in that first European game for them, when they're in the tournament for the first time and uh, the classic 9-6 game um, in the RDS, um, and we, we played again that, that year, we didn't qualify. We had Claremont in our group that year, as well if you remember we lost home and away um and we end up dropping back into the challenge cup so um but yeah like it, that sticks in the mind the, both those games from a playing point of view uh, more recently for in a coaching um from a coaching point of view those two good, great games that we have then in sandy park and then obviously in the aviva the following week which were were unbelievable physical battles um so yeah we, we've looked back at those games um over the last a couple of weeks knowing that this game is a possibility so um but yeah they're, they're, they're two i think I, I think it's fair to say like both leinster and extra have decent strong identities um do things a certain way um so yeah like we know it's going to be as i said like we know they're a systematic team we know what they're they're trying to do um the next challenge is to try and stop what they're trying to do and disrupt that system of theirs uh, just a final question for me it's a, it's a high Game, isn't it? I mean, I have that yeah, exactly. It's such an exciting block of game. You, you know, look at the the matchups in the four quarterfinals. Um, you know, the, the, it's almost like that last sixteen is it's like a, an extra bonus round as well for Europe. And you can see, you know, like the only thing that's missing, obviously, is last weekend was the packed houses um, all across Europe. And you know, this would be another packed house this weekend, and that's obviously the big piece that's missing. But you can see the quality. Of some of the games, um, you know, teams going full, full at it, um, lots of quality on show. Um, you know, the French teams in particular look very, very strong. Um, Exeter look strong clearly in their game against Lyon. Lyon had pulled up a big score against Toulon the week before, so we had watched Lyon, so we knew how dangerous they were. Um, I know, obviously, we, we talked about there was a red card in that game, but um, it just shows the quality that Exeter have all across the team um, and their team that they've, they've built. You know, it's been well documented they've built steadily over that period of time since obviously their promotion into the premiership you know that game uh, or that their first arrival into Europe which we were a part of um, the pink jerseys in the RDS I still remember them um, and that kick at the end that was obviously to draw the game 
Um, maybe I can picture myself standing there, you know, pick, like trying to figure out what that was going to mean for us. You know, if that kick had gone over, so it was right at the end of the game. So, um, yeah. So these things all stick in your, in your mind in the memory. Um, and um, yeah, no, as you say, like it's like they're, 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 it's a massive game. It's a massive game. Um, and our guys have tried to prep accordingly this week. Um, with a lot of respect for what Exeter have, have achieved. Um, and just adds to the challenge from our point of view. That's great. Listen, have a great weekend. Have a well. And uh, thanks to Connor Sharp as well. James, this is our last day with you. Thank you, Connor. <laughs> thanks, Michael. Um, Dan Pitcher, I see you there. Do you want to ask a question? Oh, or Sinead, sorry. Sinead, I didn't see you on the call. Sinead, yeah, we'll go to Sinead next. Thank you. Yeah, of course. For Leo, I just had a question there. Um, we are two teams viewed as having the same qualities. So because of that, and you mentioned this, trying to stop them, but does this contest demand something different from me that Exeter haven't seen before? Um, yeah, like it, it's, you know, there's going to be ebbs and flows in the game as, as, as normal, like, you know, two good teams going up against each other. Um, you know, so, you know, from a defensive point of view, we need to try and shut down like the, the attacking system that they have. So we need to try and come up with a plan for that. Um, and then it's trying to impose some of our game on them as well. Um, with a little bit of unpredictability, things that they may have not seen before. So, um, and that, that's the challenge, isn't it? Always um, when you come to these big games. So, um, set piece battle is always going to be important. You know, we found that out ourselves in the quarter final, our last quarter final, which was against Saracens, where, where we came unstuck a little bit in that area. Um, you know, because without quality platform, it, it's difficult, you know. Um, and Saracens were good in terms of being able to build that scoreboard pressure against us in the first half. and you know, we came back strong in the second half, but a little bit too too late. So, um, yeah, you know, so the start of the game is going to be important, and how we impose ourselves in all the physical contact pieces. So, um, as always, it's um, that's the challenge. You know, so we try to prep accordingly, um, and the guys are excited about getting going. Now. You mentioned Saracens there. Do you sense, you know, this, you know, desperation by Leinster to? Um, yeah, like I, I definitely do believe that the group is as motivated as ever. Um, and you know what separates you know you, you talk about like the championship winning teams. What separates it's such fine margins on the day. So you know I think all the teams in the last eight have strong desire to to go on and progress. Um, but it's you know who's done the work over the course of the season to get us to this point, and you know who's going to deliver on the day now so um you know, our form is, is is unusual going into this game because you know we've we've played that um pro 14 final off the back of the six nations where we have we haven't had the players for a big chunk of time so it's a little bit unusual in terms of the leading um but you know we've, we've had a we've we've prepared for the too long game obviously the game didn't go ahead so now we've, we've turned the page very very quickly to get ready for extra so um totally different challenge um travel over there now and um, try and give the best again for ourselves um, because it means a huge amount to the, to the people um, here um, I know there's been no supporters in the ground and you know definitely that is the thing that it's the missing piece of of what is an amazing tournament you know you, you, you think back to some of the great days in the tournaments you know, the colour in the crowd um, of all some of the great teams involved you know you can picture the colours I'm sure yourselves <laughs> blue is the colour that we like uh, but there's other colours that would spring to mind I think it's fair to say as well um, and you know if you think of packed whatever Sandy Park um, and having a big travelling travelling supporter of Leinster jerseys going over there as well would be fantastic to see so um, and two teams you know trying to represent you know where they come from so um, that's an important part of this tournament that I think separates it from from other tournaments because I think there's so many teams with strong identity in the tournament which adds that I guess extra bit of motivation for teams to do well okay thanks Leo and as well and thanks to Connor as well thank you uh, thank you Sinead uh, we're getting tight on time here guys so Dan Pitcher if you want to just finish off this section please with a couple of questions and then we'll move on to the embargo thank you
Well, I definitely think it's a window, shop window for, for the top players to showcase their talents because, yeah, they've come off the Six Nations. <clears throat> you know, some uh, Lions, I suppose, hopefuls um, crashed out of the tournament at the weekend. And I'd say there's lots of guys that are still in the tournament would like to continue on into that, in that shop window where they can showcase what they can do because, you know, the coaches of the Lions, wherever they are, um, will be all looking at these games very, very closely because, you know, they're top end games. So, you know, you've got some of the best players in England coming against some of the best players in Ireland and that's another window. Um, you know, obviously Ireland played England a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, again, like it's, it's just an added motivation, I think, for sure. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're back at that same point. You know, if you look back at the way the season, so we start with the uh, ending of last season, the Pro 14 into Europe, which goes into internationals. Um, you know, we start off the season okay. We play against uh, Munster and Ulster, and then we play Munster in the semi final, Ulster in the final. We don't go well into that quarter final, so um, we had a very similar one last week. Obviously, that game didn't get played in the end, but we're at this point again. Can we, can we raise ourselves uh, to a level to deliver a performance that is good enough to get us through to the next round now? So that's the, the great test. There's been a good chunk of games and slog to get us back to this point, you know. Um, and a lot of the international guys have been kind of been away back, been away, and now they're back again. So it's a great block for us to look forward to now. But um, the, there's a significant challenge right in front of us. So um, great test.